In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most gracious. Hello, my students, students of Dar al-Thaqafa Secondary School, second grade. Uh, now we have a new lesson, and I wish you an interesting lesson. The title of our uh, unit is Connected by Technology, and we are going to have a writing section. Okay? A. Look at the photos and define face-to-face -face and online learning. Uh, as you know, we have two different methods of learning. The first one is face-to-face -face learning, and the other one is online learning. Uh, now, uh, let me talk about the two methods. Face-to-face uh, -face learning is the ordinary way of learning, which depends upon learning in a community with peers and under the supervision of a teacher. Uh, the second method is online learning. It is a modern method which makes use of modern technology. Uh, the students can communicate with the instructor by emails. This kind of learning has a lot of flexibility and you can choose the time you like. Okay, now let's move to question number two. Do you prefer to communicate with your teacher and classmates face to face? Why? Why not? Uh, I think some students prefer face-to-face -face learning because they like to, to live in a competitive environment and to, uh, to, to, to live in a community with peers and to be under the supervision of his teacher. Okay? Uh, okay. We have question here number one do you know anyone who is studying online would you prefer to learn online why why not uh, yes a lot of my friends study online i also would prefer to study online because it has no specific time of studying and it has a lot of flexibility and it is suitable when you don't have time to enroll face-to-face -face courses okay Let's move to the third question. What are the differences between between face-to-face -face and online learning? In face-to-face -face, uh, learning, you have to be in class and uh, you have peers uh, and it is a community that helps you to be uh, to be motivated to work more. Okay, and it is the ordinary way of learning. Uh, as for the online learning, you study alone at home, but you have flexibility to choose the time you like to achieve your tasks uh, whenever you like uh, and to communicate with your instructor by emails. Okay, question number four, read the text and answer the questions. Let's first give a summary of the text and you are asked to uh, to read the text yourself. Uh, technology has changed our old ways of education. The internet has a great role in developing our educational system. Most universities have face-to-face -face and online course modes or blended versions. Students have different options according to individual preferences and the practical considerations. Students who work or don't have enough time prefer online courses because it has a lot of flexibility. Others who like learning in a community prefer face-to-face -face learning that helps them understand better. They like to communicate with peers and under the supervision of their teacher. Online students like to communicate with the instructor by emails. This is the summary of our lesson. Uh, now, let's read these questions and give answers to them. Uh, what is the trend for university students, your, for university courses? I think these days, online courses are more important than face-to-face -face courses. Uh, what kinds of students opt for online courses? 
I think uh, the students who have a jo who have jobs or uh, who need flexibility in time, they prefer the online courses. Why do some students enroll in face-to-face -face courses? Uh, the answer is because they like communicating with peers and they like to live in a learning community. Uh, which type of course is more successful? Uh, in my point of view, I think online courses are more successful than face-to-face -face courses. Okay, now let's move to question number five. Uh, read the text again and find out which paragraph uh, presents information about face-to-face uh, -face courses. The answer is paragraph 3. Uh, the following one sets the scene uh, and introduces the topic. The answer is paragraph 1. Uh, it, is, it has significant changes in education due technology, uh, internet, determining rule, transforming face-to-face -face education, uh, universities and colleges, face-to-face -face uh, learning, online course mode, blended, uh, synchronous e-learning. Uh, the third one presents information about online courses. This is found in paragraph 3, paragraph 2, and end of paragraph 3. Uh, choose different options, individual preference, combine learning and work. Uh, the last point round, rounds up uh, issues. Uh, both, both groups defend uh, choice, success rates, learning outcomes. Let me show you the answers. Again, presents information about face-to-face -face courses. The answer is paragraph 3. Sets the scene and introduces the topic. The answer is paragraph 1. Significant changes in education due to technology. Internet determining rule, transforming face uh, of education, universities and colleges, face to face, online course mode, blended, synchronous e learning. Presents information about online courses, paragraph 2, and the end of paragraph 3. Choose different options, individual preference, practical considerations, flexibility, combined learning and work. Uh, rounds up issues, uh, both groups defend choice, success rates, learning outcomes, benefit from online courses, face-to-face -face contexts. Uh, now we have reached the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching and see you next time.